Okay, well here is the completion of those painted tires, as I was mentioning. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you have paint on some of your tires and you don't want to scrub them off, uh, or you have tires that are extremely different colors, you know, it works. Like I said, this is not perfect. You got cracks and everything else in it. It's not going to fix that. But, you know, just kind of, for me, you know, say the time I save trying to, you know, this is dirt, it will scrub back out. And it will actually dull out over time. I prefer that, you know, kind of look like a normal tire. Um, but, uh, um, you know, it gets all your tires looking the same. And that's kind of, for, for me, that is uh, one of the main things I'm looking for. Because, uh, and that, and like I said, this, this, you know, this thing was covered with yellow paint around the rim, you know, where somebody sprayed it and didn't mask it off. You know, you can see earlier in the video, uh, you know, went pretty well. Uh, but, you know, yeah, really happy with these. The front tires look great, relatively speaking. They're all the same color. And they don't have silver dots all over them. So, uh, you know, and, you know, you can go with gloss if you really, you know, uh, if you wanted to just keep it, you know, really shiny. Uh, the, like I said, this, it will doll out over time. You know, it's just all it is. Oh, the other thing. Uh, don't do multiple layers of paint. At least I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you know, I just did one kind of, uh, you know, just one good layer of paint. And, you know, the, you know, the cracking is a minimum. And, uh, you know, if you get a lot of it and it cracks, it'll become noticeable. But, you know, I just want a nice, you know, and you can kind of see, you know, it's not, it soaks, the tire will soak it up. Um, and, you know, you'll get like, you know, kind of, I guess you call them almost like dry patches where it kind of absorbed it. Uh, which for me, exactly what I want, looks good. Just like it just evens everything out, makes it, makes the tractor look less wonky. If, especially if it's a working tractor, I'm going to be, when I get this thing all assembled, <laughs> all that paint and everything I've done is, uh, to a degree, almost pointless because it's just going to be going straight back out. So, you know, this will all get worn in, you know, all the, the paint will just wear off, but it'll wear off kind of evenly, you know, it'll look all right. So, uh, but anyhow, that's it. If you guys, uh, you know, anybody's out there, and has read about painting tractor tires, but you still don't know quite about it, uh, whether you want to do it or not, you know, here's an example of exactly, you know, what you can expect out of that. You know, they look, you know, from a distance, you know, 10 feet away, they look really, really good. And then once you get up, you can see the cracks. But I just like the consistency between the tires. So I don't have one that's like light gray, another one that's kind of dark gray, and then you have two different tires, and uh, which I know, it's a tractor, but bear with me, so. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys take care. Bye.